Young Gerald a bastard This sword's been mastered Could date a hundred years Fuck a million times Won't get my password Shit is hard Classic New York, but like obviously, but it's like it's like the language is like as different as it is. It's still just like multi-syllabic patterns just filling in. You know what I'm saying? The rhythm and cadence of the beat, and it's just like I want to say culture just transcends like language and you know many parts of the world, and it's all like like if I watch this on mute, I would just assume it was like New York cats. Like it's fine. The quality of the film's dope. That's what gives it like that. Ah, I know that cat. Yeah, they got an OG in there. That's Mike. From the chop shop. Is this super popping out here? Yeah. This is really big. Yeah. yeah. This is crazy. Like, like for me, like, for artists, like, and where I'm from, like, to be out of Norway would be, like, a big deal. You know what I mean? To be this far away from the world. And I'm sure, like, for them, like, being out of New York and, like, I mean, New York naturally being, like, the, like, traditionally, like, the mecca of hip hop, you know what I mean? And, and the history of it and everything. So it's gotta be like a big deal for them to be out in New York and like be like in it like that. <clears throat> but this is dope, I like it a lot. It's kind of clean out like the artist's not even really in it. It's more so just about like, like just like, like the scene, like the culture, like you know, and everybody else but the artist almost. I mean, but that's dope because it makes it more about the music, you know? But I ain't know it's that Grammy out there. It's slow, it's fast. And the beat's hard. It's like around the world, it's like it's like the same shit, but obviously different. You know what I mean? You see the same kinds of like, that's crazy. Obviously, the language is I have no fucking clue or anything, you know. But that's that's hard. And then it's the last one. This is the Norwegian one. It's so funny because you, know, you just got interviewed by Tommy T, mm -hmm. which is like the godfather of Norwegian rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is actually produced by him. And oh, I love it already. Now that fashion is a little different. He made his beat. Yeah. I put with the socks and the sandals. Yeah. 
Do this. Mm, the little Birkenstocks out here. And that's what those are. <laughs> the socks with the Birkenstocks, with the short shorts, with the button ups. It feels almost like Wes Anderson or like very like, I don't know, like, like the direction and the, and the cinematography. Now that's us. Um, that's. <laughs> Definitely weird. They're like the, the film quality, like the, the filter or whatever. So it looks like very cinematic. Are they serious? Or is it kind of like, like, what's the sense of humor of it? I, know, I, I like irony and I like, like dry humor. And it's like, if, if that's like them not taking themselves too seriously and like, with the donuts and shit, I, I think that's funny. But it's dope because it's like, okay, I'm not taking myself too seriously or something like that. Or it's like, he, he, still, he can still be cool and do this. Or it makes a louder statement, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, some things are like too predictable or too obvious. Whereas this is like left field. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. It's like, there's something funny about it. Yeah, it's weird, but that's why it cuts through, in my opinion. It's definitely random and weird. The beat hard. Working stats, there you go. fashion and style bro it's like literally like that's what I'm getting at is you see more or less like the same you know what I mean kinds of like kinds of trends like around the world maybe that's how connected the world is with the internet you know and social media and all that and we all have so much access now to this like I think you saw more like uniqueness in terms of like and, and not to say that the world's all the same I don't mean like that but like you saw more like 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 when the world wasn't as connected through the internet you know and we didn't see what like you know, what Sweden was doing, what London was doing, what, like, cats in L.A. were doing, what cats in New York were doing, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I think it was more different back then, and now it's, like, it's so connected that we're all kind of influenced by each other. Um, but, you know, there's still uniqueness in its own way. But the last time we met you, that was your first Oslo. Yeah. Trip to Oslo, and one yeah. of your first Europe yeah. press rounds. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, it's crazy how big the world is, man. You know, like having been that many more places now and having been back that many times to these places and just like, you know, just seeing that much more of the world and it's crazy just like seeing this, like there's this whole scene here, artists, you know, you know what I'm saying, that I'm not familiar with, like the biggest thing here, or whatever, and just seeing how they do it. And it's just like, I mean, it's dope, man. It's like, once you give everybody the tools and everybody can create and everybody's, you know what I'm saying, like all inspired by the culture and it just transcends everything you know what i'm saying it reaches the world and it's just it just gets bigger i guess but uh, but the first time you was here you were like it was right before mm -hmm. you really took off and and uh you were a new name even in oslo you yeah, were yeah, yeah. you could walk the streets and yeah. nobody knew who you were kind of a vibe mm -hmm. how is it to like how has been these two years been and uh, oh, man. Do, do you still get mad excited about being out here or is it yeah oh yeah Nah, this is I, honestly no bullshit. This is one of my favorite places to come, um, you know, and I still, you know, I still walk the streets. Like I don't get bothered like that crazy. Like um, I know how to keep a low profile and stuff. I like to, you know, be able to see where I'm at. Yeah, and you're about to drop some new music. Yeah, I'm about to drop this new album. I'm excited. Um, then I go back out on the road for another year and a half, two years. It seems like you always, you never took a break. Or... Yeah, I mean, my break is like recording. Yeah. Yeah. Just not touring. But it's like, you know, that's that's the job. It's a super cliche question, but what can we expect from the, yeah. the new material? Oh, um, man, just, you know, more me. You know, just an evolved me. 
Um, with every project, I try to push myself. I'm not trying to make, you know, reheat the same soup or make the same album over and over. I'm trying to like, you know, I mean, it's like naturally I take my experiences and my inspirations of just being around the world, soaking up what I soak up, and that, all that channels its way back into the music. And like you said, you know, I've been going, 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 going. So, you know, all of those life lessons and life experiences find their ways into the music. But is there something like specific or is, uh, something that you feel that about your music now that has changed due to the fact that you went from being an artist in the States and then kind of be a world? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, seeing the world, you know, you realize like what kind of music, you know, connects and moves people, not just in one place or to one scene or whatever, but to the world, you know. Like, I'll play shows in Mexico, I'll play shows, you know, all over Europe, I'll play shows in South America, everywhere in the States and back, Canada, you know, Australia, yeah. you know, and you see music that connects, you know, regionally or within a scene, and then you see music that connects, like, worldwide, and you see what, like, the power of that music and what it can do. And, like, I've been to Dubai this year, like, that was crazy, and just, like, you know, seeing what songs they reacted to the most. And um, you know, just, just just putting that back in, it's like you always got to do what what you want to make, you know, your will as an artist, and you know what you're inspired by. But just like learning from being around the world and just. You know, and, uh,